So welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're taking a look at the recent hack over on Akala, the depegging of AUSD, their native stable coin. So this just a few hours ago, Akala Network on Twitter, we have noticed a configuration issue on the Honzo protocol, which affects AUSD. We are passing an urgent vote to pause operations on Akala while we investigate and mitigate the issue, and we'll report back as we return to normal network operation. Massive DPEG here, it went sub one cents. A lot of people aping in, buying up the hack, trying to restore it to DPEG and making some money in the meantime. Uh, Akala itself, the AUSD token, is a uh, fully collateralized and a multi-coin collateral backed stablecoin, i.e. these are CDP, collateralized debt positions, uh, that are required to actually create AUSD. The tokens that you can actually use to collateralize it, the likes of DOT, Kusama, Akala itself, Karua, Bitcoin, and ETH. So these are backed tokens, hence that was a decent arbitrage play by those individuals. Here is the hacker's wallet. I'll leave it down below. As you can see, this person here has minted over 1.2 billion of these AUSD. Of course, there was never that much liquidity in these markets. They could have made off with a good few million dollars if it weren't for the savvy uh, interception here on a Sunday of all days. Uh, clearly, the Akala team are working all day and all night to restore things. And as you can see, they paused the chain here. And I believe they have now halted the uh, address of the hacker so they can't actually move those funds off. So quick thread here, shout out to I am Juliana C, uh, a DOT supporter who got out with the quick thread that brought me up to speed very quickly on this. So what was the AUSD hack all about? So initially, the background story is here that IBTC was claiming to be the first trustless wrapped Bitcoin. And this was going to be live. Um, starting August 11th on Akala's network and they were bootstrapping IBTC against AUSD. So this was doing the round on the Polkadot network. I keep up to date with all the news. Dan Risa had tweeted this, big milestone for Bitcoin today as Interlay HQ launches the first fully trustless and decentralized Bitcoin IBTC over on Polkadot. So this was processing altogether years of research and development and it went live. But obviously there was a bug and potentially someone was waiting in the wings to take full advantage of this. So some groundbreaking stuff, but as you can see, this is ending on a sour note here, but of course there will be a bug fix uh, after this, and hopefully everything can be restored pretty damn quickly, but of course, reputational damage nonetheless. So Juliana continues, Akala uses Honzon fungibility palette to make a USD fungible between Akala and its sister Testnet, Karura. I know some people will argue with that kind of language I've just used. Anyway, this protocol was created with the intention of allowing AUSD to serve as the native stablecoin and source of liquidity across the Polkadot and Kusama multi-chain eco. However, this is what Akala called a bug. And just over a few hours ago, uh, someone managed to mint over a billion of these AUSD tokens. And what happened was they just started dumping it to oblivion. And as you can see here, it went sub one cents. So far, speculators say they prevented the wallet from moving out the assets. Molly Big Magic Dow over here says the AUSD hacked funds have been frozen and on-chain AUSD is back to its peg. So all those funds frozen. So this shouldn't be some large scale issue. The funds didn't actually move cross chain either. So uh, no potential harm done on some of the partner networks either. So this may well just be a closely contained situation and something maybe they can offer a bit of a bug bounty to this individual who provided the hack uh, because thankfully this is very early doors in a USD's life and with this actual IBTC partnership, well, I'm pretty sure they'll be happy that things can be rectified here with that bug being removed and hopefully smooth operations can continue. There will be a losses, however, of course, that person started to dump down the token prices would have caused issues. And I think this will be up to parity technologies to actually step in and maybe make people whole if they've lost funds due to this issue. And as Juliana finishes off here, it's important to note that the 1.2 billion hasn't left the Akala chain. And it's very much possible that Akala can reverse the operation through a referendum. So potentially, you know, there'll be a quick resolution to this. How did other people respond here? So this is Sota over on ASTAR. ASTAR Network had a bit of a partnership here with Akala announced just a few days ago to try and bring AUSD across chain. So this is a, a bit of a sour one after some bullish talk just a few days back. He says we're aware of an incident on Akala and investigating the potential risk to our network. But so far, our network is working well and we estimate the impact on ASTAR to be low. 
they will talk with shareholders and decide the next steps. He then posted this subsequently over in the Discord. TLDR, since the issue is on Akala, impact on ASTAR is very limited, almost zero. So we put together a few potential results from this. What should they do next? Uh, situation A, B, or C, they went with C to remove Akala's cross-chain messaging on ASTAR. So this means importing AUSD over to the ASTAR network now is disabled. So any potential additional issues around this, they're just not going to be able to enter the A-Star network uh, going forward here. So until everything is ironed out. So that's pretty good news and a quick resolution from the A-Star team. Let's have a little look at Akala dollar AUSD here. Uh, it went all the way down below a penny on certain exchanges. It quickly got bought back up. People making a good fortune on an early Sunday morning here, trading this one back up, and it's starting to move back towards its peg. As I say, it is over collateralized. Uh, so the underlying assets that created the US dollar here should mean that it will return to parity. But as you can see, obviously people will be trading in and out of this as they will take profits, etc. But it's up to around 86 cents. Just about an hour ago, it was up to around 90 cents there. Over on the Moonbeam network, you can get a nice discount on this. It's around 64 cents. Uh, so you can currently transfer 1000 USDC into 1500 AUSD, not financial advice, and I wouldn't even recommend doing that. Let's have a look at the impact on some of these parachains. I am a parachain uh, utilizer, uh, locked up a load of DOT into these various parachains that we're going to look at, Akala, Astar, and Moonbeam. Starting with Akala here, of course, this is the chain that it occurred on, and it is known as the DeFi chain. So this is the most damaged one out of the lot here, down around 10% on the day from around 31, 32 cents, all the way down to 28 cents slowly grinding its way back up to 28.5 cents but not a good day out then a star came down roughly two percent from five cents down to 4.8 cents slowly returning back to its previous day's level uh, hopefully this one can recover quite quickly as we can see uh, issues have been mitigated over on a star now so this wasn't an issue on that one but clearly a bit of contagion and um, when you see tokens under the some, same umbrella of course they get sold off same as dot as well dot sold off as well off the back of this news and also moonbeam similar to a star minorly affected just down two percent on the day but this is obviously bad news for akala they haven't posted uh, a subsequent tweet to this just as yet unless we refresh the page here uh, but this means that we're going to have a bit of damage reputational wise of course people will point to the fact that how can this be de decentralized when they just blocked the hacker from transferring funds very quickly and halted uh, chain operations here but you know this is still very early on in the tech cycle of polkadot and these various parachains and so any hiccups along the way need to be mitigated quickly and hopefully this resolution they'll put in place uh, will see Akala continue to thrive into the future but as I say damage limitation is the aim of the game at this point 1.2 billion AUSD were minted there was never going to be enough liquidity to actually you know steal that amount of funds but you can see uh, pretty bad times on a Sunday morning here for the Akala network drop me a comment down below what do you think of this one bit of a shit show following up on yesterday's hack uh, with the curve front end you know there's just all these problems in DeFi at the moment so drop me a comment down below subscribe if you're new guys and i'll see you in the next one goodbye